pet parent, Jessica here, the furry family coach. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about your dog's itchy paws. So it's spring in most of the United States already. And one of the biggest challenges about spring are your dog's itchy paws. So there are so many reasons that your dog's paws could be itchy. It could be due to inflammation, which could be something related to their diet. It could be inflammation because of seasonal allergies. They could have just walked through some yards in your neighborhood that were sprayed with lawn chemicals or insecticides. All of these things could be causing your dog's itchy paws. Even environmental allergies inside of your home, maybe it isn't spring, maybe it's fall or winter. There still could be things going on inside your home. There could be chemicals in your home that your dog is exposed to that are causing their paws to itch. And one thing that I really wanna get across that no matter what is going on, it is always a good idea to discuss any changes in mood or behavior or anything physically going on with your dog with your veterinarian. 100% of the time, consult your veterinarian before you consult social media. Once you have done that and you know that there is no deeper underlying issue that really needs to be addressed immediately through a medical intervention, and you do wanna apply holistic solutions because we don't wanna fill our dog's bodies full of chemicals, especially when we know that chemicals are actually what's causing the issue to begin with, more than likely. We don't wanna to continue to pump chemicals into our pet's bodies. So one of the best things you can do is to actually do foot soaks with your dog. A lot of times when you go to the veterinarian, they may prescribe some sort of cream or salve. And while the medical properties of that cream or salve can help temporarily, leaving that goop on their paws is actually just a hotbed for bacteria and yeast to congregate and continue to grow. So if you do wind up using any salves or creams, after the medication that is in that solve or cream has done its job, let's go ahead and wipe the rest of that solve off and clean our dog's paws. So really the takeaway from this video is going to be to keep your dog's paws clean and disinfected. And here is the way to appropriately disinfect your dog's paws. We actually wanna take uh, a bath of water. And this could be, if you have a smaller dog, you can use your sink. If you have a larger dog, you can use a tub or a walk-in shower. Uh, anything that you can improvise in your home will do. But we wanna take some water and dilute it with povidone iodine. The name brand for this is Betadine. So I will put a link in the description below so you can find the Betadine. You can get it directly from the Betadine website or you can get it from Amazon. I'll put the Amazon link below. So you actually want to dilute the povidone iodine, which is a great natural uh, disinfectant. It's going to be helpful whether it's bacteria that's on your dog's paws or yeast. This is going to be your best solution is to actually do these iodine foot soaks with your dog. And I learned this really amazing information from the world-renowned Dr. Karen Becker. So I will also put a link to her article on this down below in the description of this video. But do uh, foot soaks with your dog. This is gonna be the absolute best thing you can do to help your dog's itchy paws. Uh, one other thing that I do want to mention is that take a look at the diet that you're feeding your dog because a lot of what's going on in our dog's bodies, the inflammation is caused from what we are feed, what we're putting into the body. What whether that is external chemicals that you're using in your home. So let's take a look at those or whether it's actually what we're feeding our dog. So I always recommend a species specific, biologically appropriate, fresh food diet. For me, I feed my dog a well, a balanced raw food diet. And I know a lot of other people who do the same. It is perfectly healthy, perfectly natural for your dog to eat a raw food diet. And I highly recommend it. So I have a whole video series on my channel about switching your dog to a species specific biologically appropriate diet, which would be a raw food diet. And I will also put a link in the description to that video playlist. So I highly recommend you checking that out, especially if you have these recurring issues with your dog where their paws are just constantly itchy. 
Uh, it's also gonna be a really good idea, especially in the spring and summer months, before your dog even starts licking and uh, you know, maybe their paws tend to get really red and inflamed and they lick a lot. Before that even happens, let's go ahead and start putting in a practice of giving your dog these foot soaks because this is going to be the best medicine. It's also going to be the best prevention to keep your dog's feet and body healthy and happy. So again, we're just gonna dilute water with uh, povidone iodine, which the brand name for that is called Betadine. And again, the link is in the description. So go ahead and grab some Betadine. Let's start doing these foot soaks with our dog. It is going to be so rewarding to have your dog's feet actually feel comfortable and not inflamed. You know, your dog is gonna be much happier not having to constantly lick. You're gonna be less irritated and frustrated not listening to your dog constantly licking. And you're gonna feel good knowing that you did something helpful for your dog. So that is gonna be the absolute best way to help your dog with itchy paws. One thing I do wanna mention in between doing the foot soaks, which are amazing, you should definitely try them. Kim is going to be getting some this season as well. Um, but skin spray from Animalio. Animalio, if you follow me at all, you know that I absolutely love Animalio. And no, this is not a sponsored post. And no, I am not an affiliate. Um, so I am not making any money on this whatsoever. I just absolutely love Animalio. They are veterinary grade essential oils developed by Dr. Melissa Shelton. And she has a blend called Skin Spray Base. And what you do is actually mix that with distilled water and you create what is called skin spray. So in between your foot soaks, you can apply skin spray to your dog's feet or any other, other area that may need um, some help and some boost on the body. And this is also going to help decrease inflammation and just overall make the skin feel more normal, much better. So I did want to mention that. I will also link that in the description below. Also guys, just as a reminder, I know I said it at the beginning of the video, but always, always, always check with your veterinarian anytime you have any changes in mood or behavior or anything physically changes about your dog. The very first thing you want to do is check with your veterinarian. And again, I will link in the description below the blog from Dr. Karen Becker and that describes all about these foot soaks to help your dog's itchy paws and help them get through the spring and summer months with all of these environmental chemicals that are going on that are going to probably make your dog's feet a little bit itchy. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video with me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget pet parents, join Pet Parent Nation and subscribe to my channel. Click the subscribe button. Once you do, a bell will pop up. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.